Zendesk tutorial. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about Zendesk and we're going to be going over everything, all the features, all the pricing, all the products that they offer. So let's get into it. So here we go. As you can see, I'm on the website zendesk.com and over here we can get started by just simply entering in our work email and clicking on try for free. It's not free to use. There is a pricing plan, but they do offer a free trial so that you can go ahead and get started with it. And then you can go ahead and purchase the plan, whether you like the software. So in this video, I'll show you how you can do this. In this little preview, you can see uh, how they use Zendesk to manage their customers and their orders and all their issues as well. They offer tons of different services, like for example, over here on any product, they've got AI agents, AI automations, messaging and live support help chat voice quality assurance data and work management force as well so let's go ahead and get started so here we can see we just enter in our email and then once we've done that they're going to ask us to go ahead and get started we can go ahead and enter in our name and we can then click on next just simply going to ask us a couple of questions uh, i don't see a skip button so we can't skip them so we gotta have to go ahead and answer them then again now start your zendex trial so what is your phone number so just enter in your phone number over here what company do you work for any company will do so i'll just add in and what is your job title and then how many employees are there at the company then you can go ahead and select them so i'll just select one to nine and then click on next and select the language click on next and now just simply create a password and there we go so we should be good to go now now we can go ahead and click on complete trial sign up so now over here just verify your email address so go ahead and click on open gmail and here is the email so now we just simply click on verify account and we are good to go so here we go trial is good to go now we can go ahead and click on get let's go and get started so update your email footer so here we can see uh we first up we go ahead and create our email for our support so over here company website and support number if you have all of them this is a support email from zen media powered by zendesk so add in your website all right so after entering in the number then click on next and most companies add an auto response so if you want to add an auto response you can go ahead and click on let's do it now or i don't want an auto response so let's actually go ahead and do this so thanks for getting in touch we appreciate i think this is okay we'll go ahead and click on next and now over here we go ahead and invite our team so over here we can skip this for now and add them later so i'm going to skip it and now we just connect your support email to see what zendesk is really like so you can go ahead and connect it with gmail if you have a let's say google's workspace where you have a work email you can go ahead and connect it with that and it'll automatically be good to go but you can do this later as well but if you want you can click on connect to google give the rights and access click on next so uh currently the email is still in use so i'll just go ahead and skip this and everything is good to go so now we can go ahead and get started click on solve tickets and here we go so this is how it looks like you can see right here this is going to be your ticket station where your customers or your team is going to resolve your customers complaint and their issues so here you can see everything this is like a sample one they're giving us an overview like a tutorial to go ahead and get familiar with the whole layout and the ui so here you go sample uh hello let's see how you can easily solve this ticket feel free to email over here but first let's get started and solving tickets so here on the left hand side you can close and redirect it to certain topics you can go ahead and click on customer not responding downgrade and inform sample macros or take it all right you're gonna have it right here uh you've got the other options right here so this is quick response over here so click on close and redirect to topic now over here it'll automatically add this little sentence where you can go ahead and use it and enter it over here so here you can go ahead and submit the ticket as pending so you can submit it as pending or click on this arrow and you can go ahead and open in progress pending whatever click on pending and here we go so now you can see this is how it looks like so we've now responded it submitted as pending over here we've got pending ticket number six how to resolve this issue latest comment over here email local time language and here you can finish up your setup later on but over here you've got your customer this is going to be the request over here you will have the user uh you will have the assignees the followers tags and you can add the type as well whether it's an incident question problem or a task priorities are going to be over here you can link phone number over here and other topics as well but we can set this up later 
but yeah that's how the ticketing system works and then you can go ahead and click on this one to finish it you can go ahead and click an email to zendesk connect your email to see what zendesk is like we've already connect we've already using the same email so currently that's not working so i will need to go ahead and sign into a different account to go ahead and get started with that but i will do that in a bit and i think we can go ahead and add our team members and then connect or the email then we should be good to go all right so now that that's out of the way let's go ahead and try to connect it again we can see over here gmail collector uh, email forwarding or zendesk email all right we have three options turning on customer emails into tickets to see in action the gmail connector import emails from your gmail inbox automatically and convert email messages to tickets or email forwarding incoming emails from your external email account will be forward to your Zendesk and Zendesk email starting your Zendesk email support at zenmedia at zendesk.com with your customer so we can choose whichever one we want let's go with the last one and click on continue and now we're all set so we're good to go and there we go have it and we should be good to go right uh, start using Zendesk support yeah that's good to go so now that that's out of the way let's go ahead and jump right into the home section uh, the dashboard actually and here we go so this is the dashboard we can see over here on the left hand side there's this is the get started button over here uh, this is going to be your views this is going to be your customers your organization and down below we have our reporting system and then we have the admin or the settings option right here so let me go back to the home section so here we go this is the ticket section and here we have all these tickets all right sample tickets our products technically source do samples do i put it together shipping costs new delivery these are all different tickets that you have to solve you can see right here these are open tickets we haven't solved any one of them down below you can get started with the cc following or the last one so let's go ahead and check out this last one which is from zhang wei shu if you click on it open it up we can see right here i'm interested in some of your products but want to know if your materials are sustainably and ethically sourced before purchasing it so here you can go ahead and type in topics are others we'll just go with that type is a question priority is low we'll keep that over here over here you can add a follower uh add agents or admins or light agents as follows so that you can keep them informed of the ticket progress over here you can add them and this is the requester over here zheng wei shu and here we can see there have two interactions so we also have a shipping cost and the product option or the product question right here and here we're going to go ahead and reply to them i'm just simply going to copy the name and here and once that's done once you've answered the question then you can go ahead and click over here and over here you can go ahead and change it to solved right click on solved since we've done that and boom there we go that's solved we've answered the question and next is going to be over here shipping cost this is the other ticket that from the same person hello i've got some cool items in my cart uh, can you help me understand the influence of shipping costs either a calculator or formula i can use here this is another question priority is normal right topic is delivery and here you can go ahead and click on the macros as well customer not responding downgrade and inform uh, or you can close and redirect the topic no description is added these are all different macros that are pre-made uh click over here and we can apply that macro these are different options over here so here you can go ahead and just simply apply them if you don't have time or you quickly want to go ahead and jump in but here you can go ahead and answer them and just simply go ahead and submit them as either pending in progress or as solved it's as simple as that uh, these are going to be how you solve tickets and the tickets are going to be pretty simple they're going to email you right so the email that we've set up uh, as our support email in the beginning they're going to email us customers are going to email us about issues that they're having or questions that they have and those questions are going to be these tickets and then we can go ahead and answer them and this is how your team is going to go ahead and work as well you can see over here you've got add notes section you can here you can add notes to this uh, particular ticket so that let's say if you are not qualified for this or if this is not your department you can move it to a certain department or a certain employee or a co-worker then they can go ahead and check it out while also taking a look at the notes section as well and you also have a bunch of other options as well so for example over here you've got side conversations here you can add conversations with the team members or some other person who is on this ticket you also have the app section over here where you can download different applications like team viewer zendesk workforce management trello zoom and many many more so go ahead and select whichever option you want or whichever app you want you can see right here it's telling us to go ahead and check those out here you can see customers doesn't have to repeat themselves with text panels interactions agents have the entire history so if you can see over here 
connect the apps and everything here you will see the events and the filter as well and everything else so here you will also see the interaction history where you can see all the history of the interactions you also have this call button where you can go ahead and check it out so your browser has suspended your audio but we can go ahead and enable it over here and then we can go ahead and make the call as well so we can go ahead and call them right here you can see we haven't replied them as of yet so we got to go ahead and quickly reply them as it is bad to leave them over here so can you help me understand what influences the shipping cost and is there a calculator or a formula i can use first i'll just go ahead and just auto reply it and uh close and redirect topic and we can just simply go ahead and click on submit as solved kind of like that but yeah this is how it works on the left hand side you will see here also you will see all of your tickets in the uh, inbox section over here uh, this is the filter where you can go ahead and check them out all the tickets pending we have the statuses and here we can see which ones are resolved which ones are unresolved pending recently recently solved everything is going to be over here we have a customer list over here we can see their names their email addresses tag time zones and everything here we can see all the organizations that we work with and our organization as well and then down below we have the reporting section where we can see and we can go ahead and check out the zendesk support zendesk guide zendesk task and zendesk chat so reporting is now powered by explore so if you click on take me to explore this is how it looks like so this is the dashboard right here on the left hand side you will have more options and you can go ahead and click on X activate explore and read the getting started option and we should be good to go so we're launching the zendesk explore account it takes a couple of hours depending on the number of tickets so it'll take a couple of minutes because we don't really have any tickets so we should be good to go but we'll get back to it later all right so let's go ahead and finish this up we've already done all of this so here you can see i've already connected the email uh, i used the other email and it worked now we just gotta add a few team members over here i'll just go ahead and add like random emails over here and click on send invite and there we go uh we've basically fully completed the account setup we've added the team members we've connected the emails and we should be good to go now you can see right here and basically you're good to go we can see some ai agents in action as well so let's go ahead and take a look at that so in this little preview we can see how it works uh, hi there how can i help you these are how it looks like but i don't know where we can act but i don't think currently we have the option to activate them i believe that we need to go ahead and purchase the plan but we'll get into that later we also have options right here where you can see we have all the main options here we have the ai agents right here where we can go ahead and activate them and here we go so uh we are currently in zendesk this is the ai agents right here we've got channels accounts discover recently viewed and home these are our workspaces down below zendesk is a quite a detailed i would say tool because they basically have everything that you would possibly need and we've got our channels over here where we have messaging and socials we have peoples our team groups and members are going to be over here accounts are going to be over here subscriptions contact usages and everything the ai agents are going to be available over here so if i open this up here we can see for messaging for email and web uh, options are going to be over here we can go ahead and click on manage ai agents for messaging and here we can create an ai agent as well so here you can see creating an ai agent we got to give it a name i'll just add that as the name tone of voice professional informal or uh, enthusiastic let's go with enthusiastic and then click on next and then brand here you just select the brand uh, help center can isn't available either your brand is inactive or has no content so that's why i think we needed to add those options as well so coming over here on the left hand side here is the brands option right here underneath accounts we can go ahead and get started this is the default one and we got to go ahead and fill all of this out so subdomains domains uh, agent signature host mapping everything right and once we've done that i believe we can go ahead and add the ai agent right so currently you can see right here has or its health center has no content so here we've got the brand name we can upload our logo over here as an example i'll just upload that and our agent subdomain over here we can add social options right here like adding a facebook page adding an x corp handler i think this is okay and then we can go ahead and click on create we can create a help center right here and users can create tickets and views and yeah i think we should be good to go let's go ahead and click on save and see how it looks like branding brands we should be good to go now let me try this again reloaded 
also, uh, maybe we should also add some other options as well. So underneath accounts, we should have actually underneath these channels. You can see we have Facebook pages, X Corp accounts and all of them. So we should go ahead and add them underneath Facebook page. Just click on add your Facebook page and it's going to go ahead and ask you to go ahead and log in over here. We have all of them and we can select the 15 pages. Uh, let's go with import recent history and we'll go with that and click on add and we should be good to go now. Um, maybe it's not registering it, but there should be good to go. Here we go. So now that works. All right. So we now have a Facebook page and now it should be good to go with the AI agent. All right. We still need to go ahead and activate it for some reason. Uh, that's not activated, but once we've done that, we should be good to go. But yeah, here we can go ahead and activate it. For some reason, it's not working. We need to activate this health center. I think I already did it. All right. So let's go ahead and activate it again. So I think we should be good to go. So creating a help center, we've already created it. Let's go ahead and open it up. When we open it up, this is how it looks like. And here we can see it's telling us that it's not currently activated. So for example, if I click on manage, it's not activated. So let's go ahead and click on general settings to activate it right here. Click on activate. And now that it's activated, now we can go ahead and click on save changes. Brand is successfully updated. Now we should be good to go with the AI agent since we have added the brands and we have added and activated the help center as well. So here we go. Now it's available. Now we click on next and now we can go ahead and get started with the testing. So it's loading up the AI. So let's go with that. So let's go with hello and see how it looks like. I think it's working. So now we can go ahead and click on go to publish and publish the AI on our brand by clicking that and selecting it and clicking on publish and there we go there we go it's live joe's coffee is live and this is the name we can update the avatar persona everything over here and publish ai agent right here to our website and our uh, customer service as well so pretty cool so pretty simple right now if you wanted to go ahead and purchase the plan you click over here click on buy your trial this is how it would look like so it would cost over here per agent 115 dollars per agent but this is not the all plans these are the all plans so we have the sweet team the sweet growth professional and the enterprise so everything over here this is of course multi-channel support if we go with email support it's going to be different but and also this is annually if we switch to monthly it's going to be a little bit different as well so for multi-channel you can see it starts at 69 dollars per agent per month goes up to 115 per agent per month for the growth and for professional is going to be 140 or 150 actually per agent per month and this is i believe our ai agent this is not our ai agent i believe yeah that's not our ai agent and this is the email it's going to start at 25 dollars per agent per month and then for professional it's going to be 69 dollars per agent per month and for the enterprise it's going to be 150 down below we can see all their features that they have have available for us and yeah pretty simple so it is expensive but it totally depends on you which one you like so there you have it uh you can go ahead and get started with zendesk and that's how you can use it how you can sort tickets solve them creating ai agents creating brands options and connecting different socials accounts so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye